Peggy Cheer here. Um, I wanted to review the Antique Bowie from Bud K. It's part of the traditional collection that they have. I've written down some uh, notes that I took about the knife just so I can kind of remember exactly what they are. It is made in Pakistan. It has an overall length of 15 inches. Let's go ahead and pull that out. See, it's made in Pakistan. Overall length, 15 inches. The blade itself is just over 10 and a half inches. The handle is a hard wood handle uh, with copper rivets going through, copper or brass rivets, not sure exactly. The handle is in a odd kind of square shape and uh, it doesn't really feel that great in the hand. The blade itself um, doesn't appear to be the greatest quality of blade. Uh, the edge, if you can get a close look at that, the edge actually you can see is quite rough. Um, no matter how much I've tried to smooth that out, I've had a really difficult time getting it to smooth out and to for it to take an edge. Um, the blade itself is quite heavy. It is a full tang knife. The knife blade actually runs from all the way at the tip all the way to the end of the handle uh, through the handle so it does have a sturdiness to it and it is kind of heavy now <clears throat> i did try to see if this had a usefulness in survival um, i'm not a survivalist i don't have the bush skills that i've seen other people on youtube with um, I do know how to chop wood, I do know how to process wood, I do know how to start a fire. So I figured I would stick with that. Um, this knife, I figured if it has a usefulness, that would be where it is. It will never be sharp enough to process meat or to process food or to process an animal. So skinning with this is just not going to be a possibility. Um, so I figured if it wasn't just a showpiece, if it were useful for anything, it would be starting a fire or processing wood. So the first thing I tried was to cut a green, uh, a green limb off of one of my trees in the backyard. Uh, I do plan to remove this limb anyway, so I figured I'd use it for this test. Um, I did do, I did try to chop at it for a bit. The handle was not very comfortable. Um, but it did do okay. Uh, there is no um, replacing a good hatchet or machete. So in this case, it did decent for what it is. It just did not do as good as a machete or a hatchet would. Uh, the next thing I tried was I tried to split a log we had in back for our fire pit. And it, while I did not have any blade damage. This is after I attempted. There's a few scuff marks here. Uh, while I didn't have any blade damage, I tried striking it first, which it did not, did not pass very far into the log. And then I tried to baton it, figuring if anything's going to break it, that would be it. I hit around the front, I hit around the back, uh, near the hilt of the blade, and I did not get any damage to the blade from that. Um, however, I didn't get very far, and I made quite an attempt, and I feel, and uh, it just did not get very far. It didn't do very well with that. Uh, I feel probably because of the size of the blade, it just really was not made for that. So I then moved on to trying to process wood uh, into smaller shavings for uh, tinder. And I used the same, or the baton piece, and while I was trying, I realized since it's not very sharp, it's not going to process wood. So I didn't make much of an attempt at it. I just wanted to see if it would. Maybe, maybe this is enough of an edge, and it just wasn't. Um, I then moved on to seeing if it would work good with my ferrule rod. And the ferrule rod, I was able to get it to produce sparks off the back, off the spine of it. And it does have a pretty good pronounced edge here uh, along the back. So I did try to process some uh, uh, sparks off of the back of it. And I got a decent amount, an okay amount. I then tried in the area near the hilt, uh, down here, 
in the hilt. And as you can see, it, it didn't really work that well. I think it was more of my technique because of the weight of the blade. I was having some difficulty. I tried along the edge of the blade. It didn't damage the blade at all. It's once again, not very sharp, but it didn't really produce any sparks. In the end, the back, the spine of it actually produced some of the best sparks. And actually, once I got the hang of it, it worked all right. However, with just with the sheer size of this, it's not very practical. I would rather just use my Mara or any of my other knives. Uh, this one's just too large for that. Um, one of the other things I wanted to note was the sheath is not really leather. It's more of a plastic sort of paper bit here. Um, it's not very good. The, the binding on the outside is actually plastic. They've got these awful rivets, rivets going through it. And then the buttons have this weird paint on them. I'm not quite sure why. Um, it being made in Pakistan, I'm not sure that the quality is of the highest quality. Um, and of course, you know, it was a couple of bucks. So obviously the quality isn't going to be that great. Um, what do you think? Do you think this would be better served as something else? Or do you think you can make this work as a survival knife? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, go ahead and like and share. Um, subscribe. And uh, go ahead and follow me. I'm planning on doing a few more videos. Thank you.